Hey guys, what's happening? So, the other day I was browsing Amazon, and I think an ad popped up or something, but I was in the market, I was looking at LGX extruders, uh, Bontech, um, for my uh, Core XY build, uh, a printer I'm designing, and um, this thing actually popped up, and I was like, what the hell is this thing? And um, it's not an Orbiter, and it's not a Bontech LGX, and it's not a Sherpa. Um, but let me show you this thing. I was like, man, that's, well, that's funny that I was actually thinking about designing something like this, very similar to this, uh, even with machined out aluminum. Um, but then I saw this was like, this is like exactly what I had in my head, what I was thinking, what I wanted to design. Um, I just, I like these uh, Bontech, these uh, larger gears, these LGX gears. Um, yeah, they're much larger than like the Bontech BMG gears. Like the BMG is, is a small wheel. Um, because I'm building a high-speed core XY printer, I need to be able to have a lot of grip and force. So I need to be able to actually move a lot of filament fast. So I needed more gripping force. Um, I think this was like $43 on... Uh, I'll put links down below, but it was like $43 bucks on uh, AliExpress. And it came with this uh, uh, NEMA, NEMA, NEMA 14 motor. And I'm actually designing several extruder systems based on NEMA 14s. The Orca extruder and a couple other ones are on my thing over his page. Uh, Ultra Light. Um, but I said, those things actually utilize the Bontech BMG gears, whereas, um, like I said, this has the LGX, the larger gears. I think it said it was like a 9 to 1 gear ratio. But yeah, I didn't see it in our YouTube video about it, so here's a closer look at it. I mean, it's very well machined, too. I mean, look at that thing. It's just... All ball bearing. Pretty nice. Yeah, I, I like when you actually have a metal and, and, and a plastic gear. That way you don't have to grease it. So if you had metal on metal gears, you, you, you'd, you'd want to grease it. That's why you don't have to grease it. Like the gear itself provides lubrication. That's not something actually I learned in the RC car world. Um, so it's, it's very BMG like. Like I said, it's, uh, well, it's, it's BMG like because the way the uh, it, you you uh, draw tension on it the same way like a BMG the lever in the BMG whereas the LGX has like a lever like a locking lever uh, so I'm going to design a mount for this thing I don't know the footprint yet so I don't know if this is like a you know if this is like an Orber like footprint yet or if it's like a Sherpa so I'll have to figure out the footprint is that, is that threaded? I don't know if that's threaded or not no, it's not threaded. So the two holes aren't threaded. Um, it's, it's not M3. It's not M4. So, yeah, I don't think it's threaded. Alright, and then... So, eventually this is not going to be good enough for my high flow for what I'm doing. But for now, I'm just going to design like an extruder system for that. Uh, it's going to go on my... Uh, I'm designing a new uh, thing called the Orca Cube printer. And... But eventually what I want to do is I'm going to use my... Yeah, eventually what I'd like to do is uh, design something like this, but an all-in-one high-flow nozzle for super high-speed printing, all in one one shot, not like a separate unit. So the extruder cooling, cooling head, everything, like the heater block, everything would be on one, one, one part, one piece of machined aluminum, you know, with the dual-drive gears like that. So eventually that's kind of what I want to do with that print right there. So this is what I was talking about, the Orca print I'm working on, Orca Cube. Um, kind of design it right now, I'm in the design stages of it. But that's going to be like an ultra high speed printer when I'm done with it. Um, but right now I'm just designing the parts to get it functional, then I'll start messing with the speed sp speed function of it. Alright, so that's a really good deal. I've seen this on Amazon. Um, I think they were like, a, they, were, they were a lot more expensive on Amazon. I think just the extruder was like 60 bucks. Like just this part was like 50 or 60 bucks. Uh, but on, Amazon, on AliExpress, I was able to get the motor and this thing for like 43 shipped from China. So, pretty light. I mean, it probably would have been lighter if it, if, if it would have been, uh, you know, plastic would be lighter probably. I feel like this, the, the metal, I mean, aluminum was super light, but I feel like it adds a little bit of weight to it. Um, but yeah, I want something as light as possible because we're going to be blazing, blazing through some filament, man. So... Alright, so if you saw this online or Amazon or AliExpress, this is what it looks like. Hopefully this is a closer view of it. 
But if you want to see an action, just uh, you know, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'm going to have it on that printer I just showed you. So um, hopefully, it'll be able to handle what I'm doing, trying to try to do with it. So, hi guys. Right,